But Pestilence has always been a band that are trying to be original, and they, therefore you can uh, win or lose. Yeah, because in your personal life, uh, um, it, was it possible for you at the time, or maybe also now, to, to live for music? Because you had a job also on the side of it. Uh, right. How is, how is that? Uh, can you remember maybe the, 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 the period where, where, where you, Pestilence was disbanded for a while, and you had to maybe pick up a more regular life, so to speak? Was it a, a big turn? No, it, it's, it's, it's the other way around. When I was younger, I didn't have a job. Pestilence was my only thing, my only goal. is I wanted to be big with Pestilence. Mm -hmm. And then there's a, a, then there's a big weight on your shoulders to, to, uh, to achieve that. For example, um, I had to pay my rent. Um, and and it all has to do with music. You know, If I don't play shows, I can't pay my rent. And now I have now I have a job, a regular job, and now I don't have to think about that anymore. Now pestilence becomes really fun. Uh, before pestilence was more of a job, and when people would say something bad about the band, it, I would really, really take it as a personal uh, insult because it was my little baby, you know. And if people say bad things about it, I would get offended or you know whatever, uh, you know, it would hurt me, whatever. But now. Um, I'm more mature, I'm grown up, I have my family, I got two kids, and I have a regular job. And pestilence for me now is like, uh, it's not a hobby, but I do, I do that next to my, it, it goes parallel with my, with my normal life, let's say. But for you, because you were stepping away a little bit from the, was it bothering you that people were always asking you about pestilence? Did you have the feeling sometimes, leave me alone, I just want to do my thing and get my job? Leave me right. be here for a while. Was it some an emotion that, that came across along? Well, when we when when we quit, when we quit pestilence, that was because um, after the album Spheres, uh, people just didn't realize what we were trying to do and trying to say. Mm -hmm. This was at a time that Roadrunner um, um, contracted a lot of death metal bands, you know, and we felt that we were just like one of those bands, you know. Uh, as a band, you have to feel um, special. Uh, especially by the record companies, you have to feel special that they want to put time, effort, and money into you with promotion, whatever, and make sure that the band, you know, comes to its full right. And we felt that with Spheres, that uh, you know, especially uh, the fans and the record company, they didn't support us anymore because it was out of the box. Mm -hmm. uh, people like to think in boxes, you know. Fans like to like to have okay, this is this is this CD from Pestilence. This is the next CD, and it sounds like this one, so I buy it too. And then the the, the next one is exactly the same, mm -hmm. you know. But Pestilence has always been a band that are trying to be original and they, therefore you can uh, win or lose and, and with Spheres we kind of lost and after that we were, we were, we were frustrated and we figured uh, we just stopped the whole thing mm -hmm. and it took like 15-16 years for us to uh, regain like our battery and, and have the, 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 I guess the trust again to uh, record uh, another album that is worthy of pestilence and hopefully the fans will, will get it I guess. Mm -hmm. But did you all the time know? Because 16 years is a long time. I mean, a lot of people would probably have gone off the radar in that time. But obviously, there was still a little bit of demand to. So, so was it also for you a little? Made it you proud? Maybe 10 years after, maybe 15 years after the the dis the disappointment that you felt proud. Maybe in yeah. Yeah, right. It, it 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 took a while to uh, to get over get over the 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 the, the bummer you know that the pestilence was gone and I felt into uh, a big black hole and I was like I didn't know what to do with my life and then when I started to get like regular jobs and uh, and and I kind of forgot about pestilence for a while um, I started to think that I'm like kind of um, missing out on something a little bit because you know when you're a musician you are always a musician. But were you actually you were not practicing also for I, some time? No, no, I I I, I stopped playing guitar for a long time. Even the first time when I heard Alan Holdsworth, I stopped playing guitar because I was so frustrated that I couldn't be uh, as good as, uh, good as, as him. Mm -hmm. And I, I'm always very competitive. I, I'm, I always want to be the fastest runner. Uh, I always want to be the, the best in school. I want, you know, and so if I, I, I lose my match, then I'm very frustrated. So uh, I, I felt I lost the match and then I just quit playing. And I didn't know what was happening in the music scene at all. You know, I didn't, I didn't know that and realize that there are so many people still have fun feelings of pestilence, you know, and that's still listening to Consuming Impulse and, and Testimony of the Ancients.